we're doing this seniors edition because I knew that these kids, and, and we did finally get the answer that we've been waiting for about schools um, yep. being closed for the remainder of the year, which really is, you know, a bummer for these kids who are graduating this year, some more than others. And I know, um, you know, it, it affects everything else, all of their you know, their ceremonies, their proms, their, I mean, they already knew some of these things weren't going to happen, but it, like to get right. that finality, it really is just awful for them, you know? So, you know, in the whole grand scheme of things, they're young, they, those are the things that they have that they're going to remember long, long, a long time from now. And they don't even get to go back to school to see the remainder of the school year through with their friends. So even mm -hmm. apart from all the big events, they're missing, you know, just the day to day with their friends. So I think that um, um, focusing on just them tonight, and I'm glad it happened after we kind of knew what's what's going on, right? So that we can, they can commiserate a little bit, but I'm, I'm sure they're going to be upbeat as well, talking about yeah. the things that like the other kids did. They were so positive, And I think that knowing what they're missing, and then giving us some, uh, some things to reflect on, of the positives that are happening within their yeah. own homes and in their lives and in the future, because they're so young, they still have so much to look forward to right. outside of this. So I do want to say, I think important to kind of set the scene out. And if you guys here in, in Cumberland um, is, you know, the principal typically sends out a weekly email and, you know, the superintendent and they follow up. So apparently there was an email sent out last night and it said, again, kind of reiterating what we knew was going to happen. And, I guess some people, you know, the principal did kind of say, you know, right, things aren't, graduation isn't going to happen traditionally. And right. so some people took it that there was tone in this email and that the, you know, Mr. Costa wasn't very um, hopeful and he wasn't, and, and I don't think you can really read tone from those kinds of things. I think, no. it, you know, you out of proportion and people got upset and there was a big protest today and kids driving by the high school and, you know, then they had to have a police presence to, you know, change things. So there's a lot of things going on. I think emotions are just running high. Yeah. So, um, so that's what's been going on. There's been a lot of that going back and forth. So. Okay. That's good. That's to why know. I, that's why I don't like communicating conversations on yeah. email. Hello, with any depth. Yeah. Can we turn your video on so we can see you? <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can you hear us, Josh? Yeah. Hey. Hi, How Turn are your video you? On. There, there you go. Hello. Hello. The, so I don't we were, see it. We were just discussing. How are you doing? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> How are things at home? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> are your parents They're being tyrants to you at home? Yes. Big time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Are they treating yeah. you nicely, Josh, or no? <laughs> um, for the most part, until <laughs> they uh, do chores. Yeah, you have more chores, I assume. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've I've oh, put man. my eldest slave to work too, so because he's home from work, so I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> that was one thing that's nice about work. You just go, and then you're gone. <laughs> and you don't have to vacuum right <laughs> <laughs> so you guys you guys you seniors are in a unique unique place i i was reading something the other day that this this senior class was born post 9 11 so they were born <laughs> at the end of like a kind of a mourning period for the, uh, the country the world and now you're graduating during a pandemic so it's it's mm -hmm. kind of like the beginning and the, the new beginning of your life is is kind of like yeah. tainted by these two big events. How do you feel about that? Like how how do you how are you uh, staying positive through all of that? I'm saying positive about it because like I can't control it, so I just see it as it's kind of obstacles that are surrounding my life that I just need to deal with and go through. And yeah. it's not, Good. yeah it's like we I, I feel the same way you can't you can't control it um it's hard because you want to like you want to be able to choose what you're doing on a day-to-day day-to-day -day basis and in your future and even in the immediate future even in the long term we don't know what's going to happen so I feel really bad for you guys because you're trying to make plans for next year how is it affecting 
like the, the remainder of your school year, Josh, we were just talking about how now we finally know from the governor that, you know, it's pretty much done, but how does that affect you? Like what's, what are the things that you're missing the most for the rest of your senior year? Yeah, pretty much the biggest thing I'm missing is the graduation part of it because that's like what you've been working since freshman year towards. It's getting all of your stuff done so that way you can walk across that stage and get that diploma. Get the yeah. diploma. That's like the major thing. But since I can't do that anymore, that's kind of annoying, but it's just not that big of a deal because the major thing is just getting the diploma. Yeah. Is um, Cumberland doing any alternative, like, um, graduation or ceremony, or you haven't heard yet? Um, they haven't quite figured that out yet. Right. That's what they're trying to figure out. Exactly. Good. Hello, Lucian. Hi, How Mom. Can you join? <laughs> Maybe it's because you joined on my phone, so. Uh, yep. So he's in. There you go. Hi, Lucian. Well, I just showing, uh, my, uh Mom's name. Hey, <laughs> how are you? I'm doing good. So Josh was ch chatting with Josh. So um, Josh, Lucian's, uh, by the way, is is um, from his car because last week Madeline's, um, when she, she was in the next room, it was a lot of like static and stuff. So he thought it would be great to like, show off his car too at the same time. So. All right. Way to go, <laughs> Lucian. Love the new car. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's new. It's new. That it won't affect anything. It's not brand new, but yeah. <laughs> so that's it's a, yours. That's a, it's a brand yeah. new car. Yeah, it's a 2012. Yeah, good for you. What is it? Uh, it's a 2012 Nissan Altima. Nice. Yeah. Very excited about it. So he, yeah. although he hasn't gotten to show anybody really, we finally drove by like both grandparents' house and they came outside to show to, to show them. The car. Yeah, so he's very excited about that. So yeah. we we're still chatting with Josh about um, Cumberland and what their plans are. Did you say that they have alternative plans, Josh, for graduation? Um, they're trying to come up with plans, but they don't really know what they're doing right yet. Not right yet. Yeah, have, I, I saw online, like, some people were you know, vying for maybe a drive through graduation or something like that. I don't know if those kind of things can happen or if they will let them, but, yeah, you know. They're, they're trying I, to work, yeah, they're trying to work on that. And administration said that hopefully by, like, this Wednesday, they're going to try to come out with a plan and yeah. also talk about what other, you know, award ceremonies and, right. you know, so, you know, honor society inductions and those kinds of things. You know, they're they're making plans all that stuff was kind of on a standstill, obviously knowing that the deadline of what was coming up and was school going to find, you know, was the rest of the year going to be put on hold and that type of thing. So they're certainly working on, on making those decisions. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. So what, so, well, there's a, so there's a lot of things you're missing. You're out of work now too. Both of you are out of work, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm what other things? What are the things are you missing? Because it's like this is the year too that your your that your involvement in other things also ends as well. So you're missing out on a lot of those things that you would have normally been in. Like Lucian belongs to um, a lot of the youth event. You both will do a lot of the youth events, and like we don't know now what we can do, what we're going to be allowed to do. I'm hoping that it, I just felt, looked at the uh, the outline of the governor's like plan for reopening, and it looks like looking at that, that maybe by the end of the summer, we might be able to do some fireside nights. I'm hoping that we will. What do you guys think? Yeah, I hope that's the case. But the biggest thing I really am missing is stupid bill. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's going to be the last year. Is, like, is that definitely off is that or definitely no? definitely off or no? Um, well, I just sent a message uh, well, I just to all the kids and parents that um, we, don't, we don't know yet. They're supposed to make a final call this weekend. So all of these guys that are on tonight, we're all, it's supposed to be their final year of Steubenville. Josh, Cole, Lucian, and Dominic was, it was gonna be Dominic's first and last year of Steubenville. So it's like these seniors have been going for a while and it's, they just have, it's just a tremendous experience. And I feel like I am devastated by it because I know how much it impacts young people and in and, and their faith life going forward so I, I do feel for you guys that you won't be able to go if we if in fact you're not able to go but the final word will be next weekend as far as I know so I know once they're all on we'll talk about Steubenville a little bit 
Um, what other things are you guys doing, like, in your own time on your, because you guys are older, you've, you've older. accepted the faith as your own, you already practice it on your own. Tell us, like, some of the things that you're doing during this time to practice the faith, faith on your own and to keep your relationship with Christ going. I mean, in the morning, I mean, we as a family, like, say the rosary every morning, and I pray at night as well, so, that's, that's, and we Good. do a uh, recorded mass, too, from uh, St. John Vianney. Yeah. Yeah, I've been watching the recorded masses, but it's just not quite the same because I'd much no. rather be be there, be present, and actually like being able to like do simple things like sit and stand and kneel and just yes. see the Eucharist yes. physically. Yeah, I yeah. did suggest that they sit and stand during the parts of the mass, and they laughed at me. Um, <laughs> and I think Joshua is also all set with um, mine and Lauren singing. He said yes. that uh, he would much prefer. Yeah, yeah, that it be the entire congregation. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. It's it's hard because you have your dogs and you have your house and you have your distractions. So it is not the same, but it is much appreciated. And you do feel this week, I I during the sign of peace, I texted like five or six parishioners that I know really well. And mm -hmm. like so many people have texted me back and saying, That was such a good idea. I stole it from somebody else online, but uh. Yeah, but that was a nice way to connect, like during the mass with actual people. That's good. That's a good idea. Yeah, but I loved but, hearing Alaria's um letter too this Sunday. That was awesome. Those so the kids that have been on, they had such great insight and such good advice for all of us. So it was nice yeah. to be able to share that and show the impact that you know just a small things like this can have on them. Um, so what? What things are you doing? What do you, what, well, let's look at it this way for you guys. What do you think the most positive things that have come out of this? Being stuck at home, be, missing work, missing school, missing all your friends. What has God brought out of this for you guys that you're seeing, like, you know, reflecting on at home, having more time? What has God brought out, out of all of this for you? For me personally, he's brought out, like, before I was having trouble, like, managing my time. But now, because I'm on such a fixed schedule where I have to go from class to class, like, now it allows me to wake up because I can wake up a little bit later now. So now I can wake up, I can pray, then I can go to my classes. Then after my classes, I can go for a quick little bike ride, and I'll go pretty far. And then that's, like, a nice time to, like, be thoughtful and, like, pray while I'm just riding my bike thinking about what the future might hold and how I could, and what God really has planned for me in my life. Good. Good. Yeah, I've kind of had the same thing where it's just nice to, uh, like, have, like, a break. Because, like, last summer, I worked, like, full-time. And then during the school year, I worked, like, 25 hours a week plus school. So I had, like, no free time. So me and my cousins, we do, like, uh, video calls every night. So that's nice. I have to for, like, two hours. I go for drives every day, like, in between school. Sometimes I go for a walk or a bike ride. Yeah, but I have some free. Nice. nice. Yeah, and that's 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 good that you guys um recognize that too because in like once you're you know in college and and working again and eventually working you know be, in your careers like your you're career. not going to have this like, kind of free time. So it's nice that you have like before you go out into the world you know so to say you you have this like kind of break from like all the reality all the the life and a, a little chance to step back and look at your priorities look at where you're going like josh said he's out thinking about you know what's going to be in the future and you know what's going to mm -hmm. happen and stuff and kind of like and I, I like that you're, you're spending that time josh like thinking about what god's purpose is in all of this and what his plan is because ultimately really it is up to him you guys are all made for something great and something in the future that's it's kind of cool like we've, i've already been through a couple of years of seniors after being part of the youth ministry um but it's kind of i feel like this group is the are the ones that i've known the best just be, because obviously because lucian's in it but also because once <laughs> Cole, cole's been there for the longest time for me so once those guys join, I feel like, I just, I just feel like now I have like these couple of years of seniors that are graduating. So it's, it's kind of closure for me too. So I feel bad that you're missing a lot of things at this time. Like they missed the passion play and things like that. And possibly going to miss fireside nights in their last Bible camp. And we don't know. So we're, we're, we're playing it day by day too. So that's really tough. Um, so 
if, as far as Lucian, Lucian's got a different Lucian circumstance, a different circumstance. He's but he's also missing a lot of classes. What do you feel like you're missing the most, Lucian? Um, I mean, I've, it's pretty like winding down for me, but you kind of miss like a little class this week. So, like, I haven't been there in like a month and a half now. Uh, I'm missing my civil air patrol meetings every week. Uh, I haven't seen my friends in like a month and a half. We don't really text each other too much, so it's kind of been like I haven't really talked with anyone in a couple months. So it's, I haven't really seen anyone actually. I haven't been out of the house at all. So. Yeah. It's really tough because if you're not a person that's a phone talker or like, you know, that like mm -hmm. makes a lot of co connections like that, you like more in person, you know, it's really tough because I'm kind of like that too. Like I don't, I'm not a super, like, I don't, I don't phone talk as much, only with certain people. And so it's tough if you, the people that you see in different situations at church or, you know, at your classes, and that's the only time you see them, those connections are important too, even if it's just at those specific places. So it's, it's really tough. And he, he mentioned like with homeschooling, he's actually been able to like go ahead further because he has no other obligations. So that's been one of the benefits, right, Lush? That's, that's yeah, been I was beneficial getting a to you. Because uh, work is getting pretty crazy, but I'm kind of glad I've been out of that. Uh, mm -hmm. It was nice because on Sunday we went over to my grandmother's house and my cousins. So I see in them. We have our own YouTube channel, so we film short videos for that. So we did one of those in like the abandoned park behind my grandmother's house. So it was kind of nice getting out of the house like first time in like a month and a half. Yeah. Yes. And it's it's good that you mentioned too. Um, what were you just mentioning that was similar to what Josh was saying about um. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Dominic is texting you he's saying he's having trouble getting on the meeting. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I don't know how to send him the link for that. Want me to forward him the email again? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, he should have it, I think. Let me check. Yeah, ask, tell him it's in the, um, the email. All right. For some reason, your video is turning off and it's got a picture of me. That's right. Very old picture. Um, so maybe he'll pop in in a few minutes. So you're out of work right now, Josh. At Chops, do you anticipate going back anytime yep. soon? Um, Chops is going to be opening soon, but yeah. I feel like they're probably going to have like the like a skeleton type of forest where they're going to try and use. Yeah. The least amount of people as possible, the most essential people at a time. Because yeah. there's it's not a real big place. So there's pretty close contact between people. Where are they located, Josh? Over on uh Diamond Hill Road. Menden Road. Menden Road. Or Menden Road. Menden Road. Yeah. Right. Diamond Hill's that way. Right. <laughs> yeah. Can you turn your video back on? Uh yeah. I just gotta send in this text. Okay. Um, so, Lucian, you're also altar server. How do you feel? Like, you missed all of Holy Week. I know that really crushed you. So you're having, like, incense withdrawal. Yep. <laughs> and missed that entire <laughs> week. Missed last year as well. So you're, like, kind of not happy that you missed all of those services. And then you saw Oren there serving this that week. Is, that is true. I forgot I missed last year. So I thought this year was going to be, like, the comeback for me. But, uh, so... Yeah, I'm kind of sad because I was looking for it. So it's my favorite masses to serve at. So I thought this would be the year I got to do all three, but didn't happen. So well, if yeah. you're going to be local, you watch them. if you're going to be local next year, you can still serve mass through the year. Yeah, I'd love to do that. I'd, I'd sure. Uh, I'd sure. I'd sure. Uh, I'd sure. They might be at CCRI. So yeah, CCRI. So yeah, that's good. You can still yeah, stay that's good. You can still stay good. Extraordinary minister too. Yeah. I'll definitely still do that next year. Yeah. So Josh, um, I don't know why I'm drawing such a blank today. My brain's some, somewhere else, I guess. Oh, I was going to ask you about college next year. Have you heard anything about um, your college of choice? Where did you choose to go? I, didn't, I don't know if that I got the final word. Was it Merrimack? Um, I haven't quite really chosen yet because now it's kind of all shifted because I really wanted to go to Merrimack, but now it's looking like it more – it might be more like Roger Williams just because of if I'm going to – because of the coronavirus, if I'm going to have to stay more local because of virtual classes 
and be able to move back and forth easier. Yeah. So it's kind of mm -hmm. up in the air. Yeah, that's tough. I didn't realize that. That's going to make a huge um, difference on what people choose for colleges. Is that really disappointing to you? Because you had one plan and now you're kind of shifting. Yeah, and now you're... yeah. yeah it's yeah. unfortunate, but yeah. you got to adapt. Yeah. How does mom feel about that? Yeah, so we've had a lot of back and forth, and, and certainly we've been in touch with both universities. Those are his first, you know, two choices, Merrimack really being his first choice. But um, uh, unfortunately, what we know about this virus and that, unfortunately, they are predicting a resurgence come September or, you know, or, you know, late, you know, late this year, um, that the kids, unfortunately, they could be in the same situation again, where either it's you know, all virtual, or we know that the social distancing is going to go on for some time, um, really over the next year or two even. Um, we're all going to be wearing masks out in public, um, so get used to it because that's, that's going to happen um, over the next, you know, several months, certainly, if not year. Um, and as far as the university, like some of the major, like I've heard that Boston University and Northeastern have already, um, determined that they're not opening for the fall semester, that they're definitely not opening their campuses before uh, January, you know, 2021. Oh, wow, that's so, crazy. So, um, you know, it's kind of made us wonder if some of these smaller universities might, uh, you know, follow suit, you know, and what they might do also as far as, um, you know, right going forward. Yeah. With virtual classes and that type of thing. So, you know, obviously the administration anywhere, you know, anywhere, they don't know any either because it's just a guess. Um, and everybody's really um, and getting everybody's ready really and wants to you know, help and, and make a good educated guess. But that's definitely part of the challenge. And like we're finding with Joshua, we're thinking if he is closer, you know, if there is a situation where it is, he needs to be back and forth, you know, if we're... Right. You know, and how can you justify, of course, spending all that money for a virtual education? <laughs> so yeah. that's a whole other ball game, too. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the colleges are really going to be yep. struggling if this happens, yep. and continues to happen. Hey, Lucia, exactly. can you text Cole from my phone? From my it, I don't know if he's still having trouble. Having the app. Can you text Cole and um, maybe he forgot that he's supposed to be signing on too? Yeah. Or right. if you guys, either one of you has his number because I don't have my phone. <laughs> what happened with yeah. Dominic? Did Dominic get on or no? Um, he's having trouble, I guess. And and I'm I'm thinking Cole might have forgot. I'm not sure because he was supposed to sign on at seven twenty, and now it's seven twenty-five or so. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's tough because um, you know, I mean, some people have some real suffering right now. Some people are actually ill. Some people are actually dying. Some people have you know, anxiety and fear or loss of jobs or other things, but you guys are still dealing with some sort of suffering. You're dealing with some sort of um, fear of the unknown because you have no idea what's going to happen with like schools. You have lack of, lack of control. Um, you know, you'd let down because of this, you know, you're, you don't have your normal graduations and parties and, and you know, all these kinds of things that I you're mean, looking for. Parties anyways, it, but. <laughs> what's that? So I was going to many parties anyways, mm -hmm. but, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it downright yeah. sucks, you know, like if we can just, just say it out loud and let it be and then let it pass and then try to look to the, the positives. Jesus is risen. Like he, he rose from the dead. He brought glory from great suffering. And we know that because of the cross. So I know that you guys are made for greatness too. And all of you guys are made for greatness and you've done so much and done so much positive things that I know. And I, I know bo both of you have such great hearts and even Cole and Dominic like that you're, you're made for, for, for goodness and God's got a great plan for you. I just can't wait to see it. I can't, I know once this all passes and father Joe said on Sunday and the same thing, you know, this too shall pass. And that's always that saying that helps us to like get past things and know that this is only one moment in time. And in the future, you're going to be somewhere completely different doing great things. And that's going to be cool to see. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I guess, so, I Joshua, guess. what would you say, uh, what advice would you say going forward for other seniors or other, others out there in this situation and kind of what's where things are at? What would be your advice for them? What do you think? My, is advice, what do you think? my advice for them would be to not focus so much on the news because the news kind of tends to stay on the negativity of it. I would <laughs> prefer you to like go out and like go do something like mm -hmm. or try and come up with a way to 
do something nice for one of your elderly neighbor, neighbors. Yeah. Like try and yeah. set up where you give them food or something. Like try to bring out positivity in it like so many other people we've seen in the news do. Because it just helps everybody to move forward and get through this. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool that- to message no. with King Supper and he ran late, so I don't know if he's hopping on. Yeah. And Joshua, what else did we talk about um, earlier, actually, because we were, you know, obviously talking about tonight's meeting about um, you had some other advice about personally what you should do. Any thoughts? Right. Activities. Right. About doing what? What was the other big part you said? Was uh, making time to pray. That's yeah. a big making one. Time because to pray. That helps a lot. Yeah. Because and being... You know, yeah, and being physically active, yep. right? Getting out and doing stuff. That's tough with all this rain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I know. That's true, too. If yeah, it's, it's depressing. Whole thing, I would be mentally perfect, you know? Like, I don't know yeah. why it brings me down, like, so much. All mm-hmm. right, we have Cole entering, too. <coughs> I don't know if he was late for some reason. He said he was having supper. <laughs> oh, excuse us, he was having supper. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Can you hear us? Hello. Hi, Cole. Hi. Sorry about that. It was a really good dinner. <laughs> oh, what'd you have? Uh, I was a big ziti, but it was the Weight Watchers version. So I was, I didn't have high hopes, but I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. Is this Dominic entering, or do we have a rogue person here? Hi. Can you, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank God. I've been trying to get in for the past 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. How are you guys? What was that? Me? How are you guys? That's Dominic on the phone as well. Hi, Dom. Is that Cole? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cole. How's it so going? So we have all four of you on. Dominic, we can't see you, but are you phoned in? Is that why? You called in instead? Yeah, I just... Yeah, I had to call in because my app wasn't working. Okay, so we have Josh, Lucian, Cole, Mrs. Blaze, Father Joe, and I on. Hello okay. there. <laughs> hey. Hey, Cole. <laughs> Can you see us, Dominic? Uh, no, I am I had to use my phone instead. So oh, yes, yeah, so just, just voice, just voice. Yeah. Okay. So... What are you guys, what are, the, what are the biggest things you're missing out from school and church right now? Friends and music oh, yeah. from Mass. I like the band. <laughs> what about you, Dominic? What are you missing out the most? Yeah, I got, I got a good call on this one. Definitely my friends and, and going to church. It, it's a lot different watching church and actually going there. Yeah, absolutely. I love hearing that from you guys. In I guess in in in, in scripture it says, uh, "Keep this day holy because it's holy, and it's still holy." So we have to keep it holy. But it's it's hard to do that when we're ha- we're at home at mass, you know, with our brothers and sisters, and you know, distractions and coffee. And uh, you know, I feel like the I feel like some of my friends' Protestant churches where they can bring coffee mugs into their mass, you know, or into their service, you know. So. It's like, it's strange. It's not, it's not like the, how it's supposed to be. What are you guys missing most from school besides um, friends? We got Cole coming in on another device now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, Dominic. <laughs> yeah. What are you missing most from Cumberland and graduation and stuff? Um... I'm- I don't, I don't really know, except for the whole interaction factor, there's, there's not that much I'm missing. Like, I just started to really enjoy school and going there, and now it's just taken away, along with graduation and prom. Yeah. It's just not ideal, but uh, I'm, we're working with what we got, so it's, it's not awful. Dominic, what's the toughest thing about being at home? Uh, definitely my family. <laughs> um, <laughs> there are a lot of you. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, there's, there's just a lot of us. I, I'm not, it's not really all bad. You do have fun. We play cards. We play, um, I love yeah. Jack, if you guys know what that is. How yeah. are the Highland Jacks uh, nights going? Nights going. What was that? I, I couldn't hear you. I, I couldn't hear you. 
How are the Hilo Jack Knights going? Who's winning? Oh, d definitely the boys. Oh. We always do boys versus girls, and we're we're yeah. kicking butt. <laughs> That's what we heard a few weeks ago that the boys were. Yeah, they were. They were winning. <laughs> oh yeah. But the I mean, there's, there's for what, you. four males and three three females, right? Uh, yeah, and then Joe, he brings Joe? his girlfriend, so she's the... Oh, she's so the it's four. Oh, four. Oh, no. Well, that's good. It makes it yeah. even. Wow. Yeah. So what are, you, what, are you, what are the best parts of this, Dominic, for you, being at home? Uh, I kind of I kind of enjoy being home. It's, it's almost like a reset. You get to spend more time with your family, less focused on everything else in the world, and you just... Good to like stay home, to, like, and stay home and relax. That's the best part. The best part. Nice. Good. I love the reset uh, thought. How about you, Cole? What's yeah. what's the worst part of this for you? The worst part? Um, I'd say the worst part is like part is like like I can still like, I can see my still friend. See my like friend. I've gone, we've done some virtual hangouts, and we've done like. I'm in my car there in my driveway and on my birthday. I had a couple people come over and we sit up like around like a uh, we had like we heated the garage and like spread like spread out in each corner. But it's like I like miss like, 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 I like miss like I like like driving around like you know having like like sing along like just stuff like being like with friends but, like not super far apart. And then um the best part, I don't know. Um I don't, I don't actually mind, like, I don't mind virtual learning that much. I mean, what, like, the way Fian did it, like, I don't care. I'm fine with not having prom. Graduation, uh, Fian's actually going to get one. Where it's, like, I'm on, like, a committee to, like, make a seniors get attention or whatever. So, like, it's just going to be, like, either, like, over like, Christmas break of this year or something. So we'll still get something. So I th the best part, I don't know. I enjoy, uh, so I got a new job because, like, my old one, I got laid off, and then I got a new friend, uh, job with one of my best friends, and so that's been a lot of fun. It's get, been keeping me busy, and I'm just having a really fun time with it. What kind of job is that? I'm uh, working at a hardware store with him, and so it's just, it's just a lot of fun. I, I built, Good. like, 50 wheelbarrows in the past two weeks. It's you know, actually been quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds great. You sound, it sounds it, like it's right up your alley because you get to talk to people. Because you get to talk oh, absolutely. To people. I love I love being I love, on the register because then the I also get to like be on the phones and direct people around. So is, yeah, is I he enjoy it. for everyone? Is what? Huh? Is polls um echoing for everyone or is it just me? No, I can no, hear it. I, I hear that. Too. Yeah. yeah. Just me. Just must must be me. So what do you think about what we're missing from the church? Like there's a lot of stuff that we possibly could be missing. We already missed a lot of stuff. We were already talking about it with Josh and Lucian, but um, we haven't, we, we mentioned Steubenville a little bit, but I wanted to talk about it with all of you guys because I don't, I don't know what they're going to decide yet, but my guess is that we're not going to be having it. I hate to say that out loud. And say that out loud and I'm still remaining optimistic. But I don't know until this Saturday. Until this Saturday. Or Friday, I guess. I don't know. What is the, th the thing oh. you're going to miss most from Steubenville East? Well, I, I've never been to Steubenville. So <laughs> I, I feel very disappointed because I'm being cheated out of, uh, out of going. <laughs> yeah, I, feel, I feel terrible for the people that um, were supposed to go. And it was going to be their first experience of it. Especially, the, like, Dominic, he can't go next year. Yeah. These other young people, they can still maybe go next year. We can maybe hold the deposit and they can, you know, would be signed on for next year or something like that. Depends what they decide. But, like, I feel bad for Dominic not being able to experience that. But there are going to be other things, Dominic, in your life that are going to be that positive and that cool. So I'm hoping for you. Yeah. Or you could volunteer next year. You could go and be a volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that's yeah. Any one of them, every one could, right? Any one of the four could, could be a volunteer. Yeah, I'll be doing security next year. 
There you go. Oh, so, the security guard. I, love it. Yeah. So I have a question for, um, I know at least Cole and Joshua, because I don't want it to go unsaid that, because although we know that confirmation will happen sometime um, for the group that we're supposed to have, but it was supposed to be this Tuesday night. Um, yeah. And I know that those were that were supposed to be confirmed are, you know, obviously are disappointed and sad and put off. So, so for the two of you who were supposed to be sponsors, um, and be at the confirmation this week, you know, what might you say to your confirmati? Is that a word? Yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> that's, what the candidates, that's, what the candidates, that's what the candidates are technically called. Right. <laughs> yep. Learn something new every day. Uh, every day. I have no idea what I would tell Ryan. Um, yeah. Yeah, what about no something idea. from your confirmation? Was there anything memorable about it or what, maybe not necessarily right at the ceremony, but in general, like what it meant to you or what? My Pepe made a wise uh, crack comment to the bishop when oh. I forget what, but that, that really, that, that really, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. For me, it meant a lot because it was like me progressing through into my faith and actually like deciding that this is where I wanted to go. And it was just mm -hmm. another like really great moment to progress through my faith. So I guess I would say to Lauren to remain positive and like just keep going on your schoolwork and just stay faithful and just try and get through this. That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so Dominic and um, Cole, we already asked Dominic Christian and Josh um, um, what, they're doing Josh. To, um, what they're doing to keep their prayer, keep prayer life and faith life going, going at home. home. And we, we know that you guys are all older, that you you've accepted the faith on your own. What are you guys doing to stay in touch with your faith? How about you, Dominic? Um, I, I just like to I, think I this all happened from Jesus. Like going back to what I said earlier, uh, this is all like a nice replay. So taking a step back from everything is nice, but um, still every now and then I'll be I'll be driving somewhere, uh, and I'll I'll just I'll I'll say like a quick prayer, like Good. just talk to God and just like even if it's like the most basic things, like hmm, just talk, just tell him about my day, just somebody to talk to when. I can't hang out with my friends, even if it's about like, oh, I can't wait to eat fried chicken at home tonight. <laughs> just, just anything. I love you, Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to Chick Fil A Saturday. I went to Saturday. I went to like, once it was so good. So good. <laughs> How about you, Cole? How about you, Cole? So definitely also so definitely in the car, also. I have my, you know, it's a 20 minute ride to work. So I got, I got my uh, student build Jesus jams playlist, always listening to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> then Sunday mass with the family. Um, definitely a different experience. You know, Palm Sunday killed me just a little bit, but I got all the good music that I was looking forward to. I love, you know, Via Dolorosa, glad, like glad, glad I got to hear that. But yeah, it's mass with the family, you know, it's, that's, that's really what's been great is not that we didn't go to mass before, right? But now it, it's just, it's, it's, they're good different and then there's bad different. It's just, it's all kind of just all mixing. You guys, like, I feel like during this time that God's been speaking to me in different ways, like, um, he has like particular messages for me, for my family, for the way that we live, for our priorities. Do you guys think that he has a particular messages for you? Do you find it easier during this time to like spend time in prayer? Um, yeah, I think it's easier because before, like, I used to work a lot of morning shifts. Work I wouldn't work like this. I would, uh, hey, what's my, uh, what's I my, do. So, I do. That's so. nice. How about you, Josh? Yeah, because I have so much more, like, time and freedom, I, there's really, like, no excuse for me not to be in prayer. So, like, I typically will spend, like, I don't know, five minutes here and there, 
just saying quick little things like Dominic was saying, like just to try and build that relationship and mm-hmm. get it to become much greater. Yeah, because that's, that's ultimately what prayer is, just talking to God and especially about what's going on in your life. That's perfect. That's perfect. Absolutely. Like at our fireside nights last, last year, do you guys remember how you pray? Like a pirate? Like a pirate. How do you do it? Yep. A-R-R. R. <laughs> you got to accept, reflect. Uh, of course, I don't remember all the R's. <laughs> <You know that. laughs> reflect was, I don't want to say, re- it wasn't repent. Maybe it was repeat. Was it repeat? <laughs> Could have been. I, I'd have to look. Those back are at both my... good R words. Go, both great R yeah. words. Yeah. Great R words. Yeah. Like a pirate. Like a pirate. So, if, if you guys so, were going to give some advice to other seniors that are going through the same things as you right now, what would you say, Dominic? But can, can you say that again? I'm sorry. <laughs> what What advice would you give to other seniors during this time? Um, that even though this, this year is kind of ruined, we still have the rest of our life to make up for it. And we can, we can deal with this for now. And come next year, everything will come back to normal. So it's not all bad. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You know? That's positive. I like that. How about you, Cole? I would say similar, but a little stronger in the sense that, like, just because I know, like, a lot of seniors are saying, well, you know, the the, the like the forces that be ruined our year, but we're not going to. So then they're like not listening to the restrictions. They're all hanging out, and so I would just say, like, you know, like we we would like we as seniors we get out sooner than most people right and we would all love to be able to have a normal summer the only way we can have a normal summer is if we you know take it seriously now so like like dominic there's light at the end of the tunnel but we have to make sure we want the tunnel to be as small as possible yeah (laughs) and and so i do have to say that working in healthcare and knowing um that that really is true you know and i did talk a little bit about earlier about you know, right, mar- no, wearing masks, yeah, wearing masks, and saying, you know, life no, for everyone is going to be very different, not just you guys, just you guys, um, all of us are going to have to do things differently than what we've been doing. Um, and this is going to go on for quite a while until they get a vaccine and see, and, and in order to keep and each other healthy, each and other our, healthy, you know, yeah. older population, older population exactly. exactly, we really need exactly. to take care, really and take care and pay attention, and, pay attention. and follow the rules. Um, right. Like Cole said, you know, they're not, you know, the higher ups or the powers that be aren't doing it to be mean or to, to say, you know, tell you what to do. Um, they're really doing it. They're coming from a place of knowledge and knowing what's going on and trying to keep everybody as safe as possible. So I asked these other guys too, what, um, what effect this is having on your plans for next year with schools and stuff. How about you, Dominic? Um, well, for college next year, I heard some some schools are making uh, their first semester online. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm I'm not too excited for that. And yeah, <laughs> that's, where that's are you going again, I'm, Dominic? I'm, uh, Quinnipiac in Connecticut. Oh, that's right. Yeah, in Connecticut. What are you call? Um, so, like, I was supposed to be going to Prague, and now that got canceled, so now I might be in Canada, I might be in Boston. Um, the whole idea of the program that I'm in is to study abroad your first semester, which might be very, very difficult. Um, I might consider actually deferring to the class of 2025 if, um, it's, like, virtual learning or, like, this all gets canceled. Um, just because I think, not that... Not that I don't learn well virtually. I don't learn well and virtually. First semester and of college. First semester. I just don't know if that's going to be the right fit for me. So I might actually end up deferring to yeah. next year, which would be a very difficult thing to do. But I don't know. I've heard of, I've heard other people articulate that too. Uh, that's kind of the word on the street too. Some people right. may do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, it's so tough because it's so like tough. affecting like your first time out. Like you made all these decisions. You finalized your, your, your grades, yeah. you worked really hard, and now you're not sure what's going to be happening next year. Do you guys have any final thoughts like for 
what's going to be happening. I don't know that you, I don't know that you can give to other people. How about you, Josh? Um, I would say just try to get like more physical activity, try to pray more because those are going to be the main things that are going to help you reduce stress and keep you like centered with what you need to do and accomplish and like focus on your schoolwork and just getting good grades. Yeah, because yeah. ultimately, eventually you're going to be able to get somewhere where you want to be. It's, you're still young. It's, it's hard because you, you're you made all these plans and now they're kind of getting thrown to the side and you don't, it's out of your, it's out of your control. How about you, Lucian? How about you, Lucian? Um, I would just say take advantage of the time. Cause like, we're going to have time like this. It's like work before college, busy after that with college and work. So like, if you have like a new hobby you want to start, like some start, trip, like some trip, um, doing it now, now's the perfect time to try something new or something done that you just didn't have time before to do. Yeah, that's so true. And I've always, like, I don't know, if, like, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, good idea. So, I think that this is, like, a good opportunity to spend time on something. I've been doing so many stuff on my long-term, never-getting-it-done list, so that's yeah. been really helpful to have extra time. So, I love that. How about you, Dominic? How about you, Dominic? Uh, kind of like the same thing you said, like, like, uh, I've been I've been doing uh, a lot a lot more hobbies. Like I've actually started reading a book, so that's pretty cool. And I don't really do that too often. Yeah. And uh, there's like a lot more free time for like like uh, even my mom. She, like, uh, she's bored, so she decided to redo her her closet. So what what did she do? Uh, she redid her entire closet. We have to bust down a wall. Oh, geez. And now she's yeah. putting in new flooring. Yeah. And now she's putting in new flooring. Just, just in time. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. I, I like what uh, Josh said, definitely, about, you know, got to, like, the best way to, re like, reduce stress. And I think that's really important that you do be reducing stress in these times because, it's very stressful times and not even just like now, but like the whole aftermath, like, you know, is this going to trigger another recession? Just there's a lot of stress lot that's of going stress on that's around, going all, around of this. all of this. And I think having I think ways to reduce that to stress reduce would that be great stress. for everyone, regardless of like religion or whatever, just everyone in general. Yeah, I think it's really important to stay close to your faith life, to reduce the stress, to get out, to enjoy. Now that's at least going to be nice. Now that's at least going to be nice, nice part minus the rainy most days. But the rainy days. Hmm. Spending your time spending doing your time constructive doing things. Doing I love all that. So I'm looking forward to seeing where you guys are in like four or five years. I think you're all going to be doing great things. I'm excited for you, even though we don't know where there's a lot of unknown right now. But I do feel like that we are going to get past this, and that you guys are going to be better for it because. Like I said earlier, like God creates glory out of, out of, out of suffering and that, not that we're suffering that much, but I know that this is really affecting you guys with all the unknown and the unknown. out of control of, of your senior year losing out and stuff like that. So like that. I really do so think that, that he's going to give a lot of beneficial things. A lot of beneficial things are going And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys are doing in, in the future. It's going to be cool. So thank you so much for being on, everyone. It's nice to see you. I miss all of you. Well, maybe not Lucian. I see him all the time. But <laughs> all of our events. It's very depressing to me to know that all these plans that we had are, like, kind of thrown to the wayside. But we've been trying to do other things. So if you have any cool ideas, you let me know. Yeah, we might do a drive-by pancake breakfast thing. Yeah, I don't know. Just I'm in. Right. <laughs> I'm in. I'll I'll be there. There. We'll have to figure something out because Mr. Blaze has his Blackstone and he's ready to go. He, uh, he's, he's, uh, you, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll help. I'll, I'll, I'll bring some electric riddles I'll and a bunch of power cords. Electric riddles and a bunch of power cords. <laughs> Do you have any final words yeah, for them? Final words? Final words? I have a question for Father Joe. I have a question for Father Joe. Yes. yes. When do I get to read at one of these virtual masses? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you want. Let's see. notes. will know. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, okay. Yeah, she's sort Is of that all it takes? Yeah. Right, right, Erin? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, she's been assigning. Yes. They've, been, they've been looking at the regular schedule and then, you know, yeah. 
Right. Contact I'm not at the 10 o'clock schedule. Oh, well. Yeah, no, you know that's what, okay. Uh, but get in touch with her, Cole. Uh, yeah. Uh, he wants to know if he can serve. <laughs> yeah, Cole. Cole. Um, just give her, uh, contact her early in the week whenever you want to do it. Because she sets okay. it up midweek or something mid-week like that. Or something like that. Yeah. I'll put on the full suit I'll and everything. Full suit and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to come and serve? Um, for, uh, you want to come and yeah. serve? Yeah, I'd come and serve if you want me to. Yeah. 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 Contact Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Cook Mr. came this Cook week. Lauren came this week. Um, so uh, check with him if you want to do it on Sunday. You can take it if you want. All right. All right. Very good. Well, thank you all for being on. I yes, hope to thanks. You soon, sooner than later. You know, and just to put things in perspective, Denise, our secretary, when all this was hitting, she said, you know, she said, it's tough said, it's and tough. we have to sacrifice. Have to sacrifice. But, but um, our parents, our grand, well, my, my father, and uh, our yeah, grandparents and great grandparents were going off to war, World mm-hmm. War One and World War Two. We're World confined to our couches we're watching that. Couches <laughs> watching that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Like every generation has something. I I lived through the Vietnam War and I sweated out the draft. You know, and that wasn't too pleasant, you know, at the time. You know, and look back on it now, and that was that was the past. This is the present. You know, it's always something. Every generation has something. Yeah. Yes. And it's and that generation, I will say, is Joshua has a ninety-nine-year-old great grandmother. Great grandmother um, just had a birthday. Just had a birthday. A week ago, and she and is she really having a hard time really staying at home. I just want you to know. Oh, yeah. um, she's begging to for me to take her out for a ride and go out. And of course, yeah. we're really trying to keep her contained and away from everyone um, yeah. because we can't afford for her to get sick. So. No. Um, yeah. Yep. But she talks about everything that she's been in through the depression. Yeah. Her life being born in nineteen twenty-one. She's yeah. been through a lot, so yep, it's pretty yeah, my, amazing. My my uncle, my mother's oldest brother, still living. He's ninety three, mm-hmm. just turned ninety three or ninety four, I think. And um, uh, he had, he had a meltdown the other day. His wife is in the nursing home. Mm-hmm. Here, hasn't seen her in six weeks. You know, and mm-hmm. he's just alone at home. Mm-hmm. His, his daughter is going yeah. to see him. Yeah. See him. Yeah. It's it's tough. It's tough. And he he fought in World War Two. Yeah. You know, it's uh, and he's having a hard time with this right now. Well, you guys were born post 9-11, and now you're graduating during pandemic. And I think you'll you'll get there. We'll be we'll be in a better place in a few years. So that's great. Yep. And it's yeah. good to see that you guys are the future because it's awesome. Yep. Right. It's good to see you all. all right. Nice to see you, you as well. All. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Hey, nice to hear you guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's good to hear you too. <laughs> yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I'll see you guys later. See you guys later. Bye. Enough. <laughs>